Good morning, gorgeous. Have you ever wondered what it looks like to work weanlings? Well, I need to work my J heart and my dad's memory ranch weanling today. So I'm gonna take you along. Let's go. Before you can work the young ones, you gotta feed them. So let me show you what I feed the weanlings. And I also feed Fred our 39 year old meal at the same time. So I'm gonna take you along. My question is, what do you feed your young ones? And what do you feed your really old ones? I got these buckets and Fred is gonna get two scoops of total equine and then he gets one scoop of rice bran so that's what Fred the 39 year old meal gets the weanlings get one scoop each of Olsen's brand cob This is what the cob looks like. And I don't know, maybe I have some feed experts in my comments. So if you have something really wonderful and great you feed the young ones and you recommend through and through, let me know. Uh, this is what the old guy feed looks like at the moment. I do soak it with water, so let's go do that. This is Fred's feed tub. So I go ahead and dump this in here. <laughs> that almost fell over. And then I take this one and I crawl through here. Oh, watch out. Excuse me, Mr. Banjo. Hello. Oh, that was quite the mission. And these guys got their tubs over here. The boys are happy, happy. Separate the feed into two. There's a third. That was when Kix was here. Just haven't moved it out yet. Then I take this bucket and I'm gonna have to fill up their water today. I scoop about a little bit more. About that much water. And I take it over here. And I pour it in there. And that's what it looks like now. And I like to believe it in this feeder because he's very messy. And so, I don't know, I just figure if it's a little bit contained. But that's the biggest bucket I have at the moment to feed in. Can say hi to Durango. That's my client horse at the moment. We'll get to him a little bit later. There he is. Always waiting by the gate. The last time you guys saw Fred, he was in here with the other horses, but we moved him into his own pet so he can have free feed alfalfa now. Because look, ta-da! We finished this. Can I show off? Can I show off the water real quick, Fred, before I catch you? Is that okay with you, mister? Fred can be very demanding of his food. 
Good morning, Chody. Gonna show off the finished product over here. Oh, Fred's in the way, but ta-da! Cisco welded that and finished putting the stays in the middle. Now the debate of the stays is real. Thank you so much to everyone that participated in my little survey. I'm gonna have to add up the results. Right now it's seeming pretty 50-50. So we're gonna have to figure it out. I will tell you one thing. It's not the highest priority. It's just kind of something we would like to do in the future if we are gonna do anything. But not highest priority, but things we need feedback on. So one more look at the stays and the water. Cisco got the float on, which it's not working right now because we don't have the water hooked up, but it will be fuller than that. And yeah, here's the two pasture pens and Fred's feeder over there that has a big bale of alfalfa in it. So the old man can stay fat. All right, he's probably getting mad at me now. He wants me to take him over there. And this is where Fred will eat his food out of his bucket. Sometimes he stands here for a little bit while I finish working other horses. And let's see if he'll give you a demonstration. See all that falling out? That's because Fred's teefers don't work the best anymore, which is why we soak it. See how it's all soaked up from the water now. That's why I feed him in here. So when he makes a mess, it's at least contained a little bit. Huh. Need a bigger bucket for you, huh, Fred? Enjoy some Fred ASMR. Fred's happy, and now we catch the weanlings. And yes, catching is part of training for these guys because we don't want hard to catch horses in the future. Mission accomplished. We got the guys caught. And my big strategy when it comes to catching them is giving lots of scratches, which I got lucky with these two and they love scratches. When I go brush them off, I'm gonna show you. See, look at this guy. Look at that lip. He's like, he just freaking loves it. But then this guy, he gets jealous and he wants some scratches too. They just love it. But, so this is the Memory Colt, and this is the J-Heart Colt, and I love both of them, and they're both doing awesome. The main difference right now is the Memory Colt is more in your pocket, where he's almost getting where, like, I might need to get him out of my space a little bit, if you know what I mean. Like, he's almost really likes being in your pocket where the J-Heart Colt he's a lot more respectful of your space but sometimes that means too he doesn't want to come into your space not bad not good it just is what it is so I usually catch them both together and they're leading really good right now so it's just easier to catch them both together and then I go tie them up and a really big part of their training at this stage in their life is to stand tied without their buddies. But this is where I do need to watch out because the other day one of them got spooked. 
And I think memory is kind of being ornery to Jay Hart. But anyways, gonna go tie him up and get him brushed off. I've had a lot of you ask what knot I like to use when I'm tying them up and my favorite is a bowline. I might need to do it on my own video explaining, but I'll try to just show you slow-mo a little bit. You take the rope coming from the halter and you roll it on top to make a loop. So see it comes on top, the part connected to the halter is on top. Then you take your tail, you stick it through the eye, pull it through, and then you go around this, the part connected to the halter. So you go around, over, back under, through the eye, and pull it tight. And that's what it looks like. If they ever sit back, you can always get it loose. But when I say these guys like scratches, let me show you what I mean. <laughs> like, they are dramatic. He lets me know with every inch of his body that he's enjoying this. And then you can go this way and his tail follows you. It's so funny. Now let me show you when you go to his shoulders. You can sometimes I can get him rocking back and forth. He's like, oh my gosh, I love this. And his neck. He's like pushing into me with it. Let me show you the other side. Do some more butt action scratches. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, yeah. They do that little lip curl. They're like, this feels good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, little Banjo, he needs some scratches. Should we show them how much you love scratches? <laughs> Are you gonna give us any tail action today? He just lifts it up. Oh, he's turning. <laughs> oh, they're so funny. <laughs> I would have to argue that scratching, let me like, maybe you can see my fingers. Scratching is a big part of my training. They really start to like it and they just think, man, she's the best scratching tool ever. Let's go hang out with her. I decided I want to go pro it. And that'll save, then you guys can see what I'm seeing. And it will save some of my phone battery because that thing's been dying on me fast. So I've also been t-shirt gang gang lately. And we are going to do the J Hart baby first because this guy could use a little bit more patience time. He's doing really good. But like this guy stands like a rock and he is always all right, let's get started. Going to send him off. Point. Click. Good job. See if he'll do some trotting for me. Point. Click. Stick. Good job. back nice point good job 
like I said, this is his third day. Maybe I didn't say that. Now I'm telling you, this is his third day doing round pen work like this. I switched things up a little bit on these colts. I started off just desensitizing and gentling them before doing round pen. He really wants to face up, which is good. And that's what I think it really helped them want to come to me. We'll get a change of direction. Out, back, back, good job, point. Oh, that wasn't good. It's okay. <laughs> you guys get to see the real training moments. We'll make him go around a little bit more on this side. He just, remember they got a turn facing me. They can't swing their bum. So I'll go out, back, back, nice, point. There we go. Maybe my positioning confused him. In my head, or sometimes I'll say it out loud, I'm like, do you want to stay with me? <gasps> yeah, you do. Good job. You want to stay with me? You want to stay? Yep, good job. Look at that back leg. Good boy. Now I'm saying, do you want to stay with me? Because if he didn't want to stay with me, he wouldn't disengage his hind end, and he'd run away from me. Ah, good job. Good job. Is he gonna come all the way up? Uh, a little bit. That's good. You wanna come? There we go. Good job. There we go. Nice. There we go. See how I broke his front feet up? Good job. Good job. You did so good. Can we go get the halter? You wanna follow me? You wanna follow? Oh, good job. Good job. A little bit. You followed a little bit. Good boy. And this is a good time to just test your horse. See if he wants to run away. But actually, he's like, wait, I think this halter gives pretty good scratches. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Good job. That was my call. Kind of misread that situation. Okay.
Good job. Now I feel like he's got an itch somewhere and he was trying to scratch it right then. But it's okay. Now let's maybe see if we can get a couple more steps. Oops. There we go. There, that was a good step. That's good. Two steps. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do this one. Wiggle. Oh. Wag. Good. Wiggle. Wag. Good. Good boy. There we go. There we go. Good job. Two, three. Ah, not forward. Sideways. There we go. Nope, not forward. There you go. Good boy. One, two, three. Ah, not, not forward. Don't move those back for you, okay? Okay, the last thing I want to do, as far as this goes, is let's do just a little bit of lunging. Just a little bit, okay buddy? Good boy. So I'll point, send your front end. There we go, nice. There we go. Just a little bit. Point. There we go. kind of do this softly. I learned my lesson the hard way. You got to start off soft. <laughs> who remembers who remembers seeing the video of Sully run me over because I went barbarian mode and did this really hard. <laughs> Comment below if you remember that video. See, this guy is just a little worried, so I just keep doing it the same till he relaxes. And then once he relaxes, I relax. Nice. Oh, well, he kind of moved still a little bit, so maybe I'll just go right back to it. But he is resting that back leg now. Uh, now you see him relaxing. It's okay. This guy's just very aware. He's gonna be very quick-footed. 
Maybe I'll do this one more time. Now we'll do the other side, start off with flogging some kindness, good job, nice, see if I can get it to wrap around, get them used to all of this, nice, there we go, do my little snake dance. There we go. Impressive little jello. Okay, now I'll do some of this. See, sometimes too, even just like my shadow over here, it's gonna get used to seeing all of this. Nice. jumps a little bit but not bad. Good job. Okay. I want my horses to grow and there's not much growing that happens in the comfort zone. So sometimes we gotta make things a little bit uncomfortable. Not too much. See him rest that back leg? Then I relax. But I gotta make him a little uncomfortable so that he'll grow and he'll learn. Nice. I'm really gaining his trust right now too because he's like, oh man, I thought when you flung that in the air, you were going to whack me. No, oh, I'm not going to whack you. I just whacked myself twice. <laughs> Good job. The last thing I'm going to do with Jello today is do some crazy dancing. You can see he's got a little bit more just watchiness on the ground to certain things. So crazy dancing is going to be really good for this guy. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll link it up here above. But let's crazy dance around Jello some. Okay, he did pretty good. I was kind of hoping for the sake of YouTube, he would do something so I could show you. But I have been working with this on Jello for like a week now because he was a little more washy. So I actually started out with doing a lot of jumping and jumping jacks and it's a good workout. And by the end of it, your calves will be burning. So try crazy dancing and you might get in shape too. <laughs> That is it for Mr. Jello today. We're gonna go switch and get banjo. I've got banjo now. And I've got my GoPro. So let's get this cult worked. There we go. Point. The thing about banjo though, he's lazy. <laughs>
You wanna stay with me? Okay. You're just gonna gonna just come up to me. Is that what you're gonna do? Come on. He's distracted this morning. There we go. Good boy. Now you're licking your lips. Huh. Yeah. Are you messing with me this morning? I'm going this way. There we go. Good job. Good job. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. And that's that. I was gonna work out with the crazy dance. I kind of like it. So Banjo is gonna stand tied over here, and then I've got Jello over there by the horse trailer. I do this on purpose. I don't want them to be able to see each other while they're tied up. Learning patience and learning to not be buddy sour. So Banjo, he's doing good. He's gonna get a little break before I come back and show you the last thing I like to do with my weanlings. Alrighty, some time has passed. These guys got their patience in. It got chilly enough to put my sweatshirt back on. But let me show you now what the last part of my training with these weanlings is for today. Now I won't take credit for Mr. Jello because there's a video of Henson doing his feet and you can tell he's, his feet are pretty good to handle. But let's go do Banjo who I've been practicing with for two days now and he's getting better. Um, he's not as good as Jello so we do a little bit more on him. But if I can just pick their feet up every single day, even if it's for a little bit, and then certain days like really have a whole lesson on it, it's gonna make them that much better when it comes time to put their first set of shoes on.
and that's that that's what we've been working on this guy as you can tell is not as good on the front feet he likes to jerk them away from you <laughs> but it's okay that's why we're practicing that and that wraps up what i'm doing with the colts today And they're back to snacking. Hope you guys enjoyed the weanling content today. Remember, let me know what you feed your young guys and your old guys. And I'm curious, from the videos, which cult did you like better? We're going to have a little race. Decide who's the best. Hard choice for me. I like them all. And I forgot to let you know we put Fred away. So everything's done for the day thanks for coming along if you enjoy this content and you like my channel go ahead and subscribe hit that thumbs up and come along all our adventures we'll catch you next time i decided fred needed some friends and that the colts have been really good to catch so look who got turned out just let him go